Hi guys! In today's video we're making this pretty lace miniature wedding dress. I made this dress to fit a Barbie but you can make it in any size you want. I'll be working on this doll dress form for this video. This is, as I mentioned, a Barbie sized one and I got it off eBay. To start out we're gonna make our pattern. For this we're going to use some masking tape, which we're going to place over the doll so we can draw on the pattern. Make sure you place the tape tightly on the doll so you get an accurate pattern. At first I just covered the doll so I could draw on the main bodice which is the full coverage white layer that's going to be underneath the lace. I only draw on one half of the pattern since you can just flip it over to make it symmetrical. Once I had the base bodice sketched out, I added more tape going over the shoulder so I could draw on the top lace part as well. This way you can clearly tell what's for the lace top and what's for the bodice part. And here's how the finished pattern should look like. Now you can carefully cut it away from the doll and cut out the individual pieces. Here you can see the pattern pieces for what would be one half of the top. The entire piece is with the lace and the bottom pieces are the inner bodice. Now for the fabric, for the inner bodice I'll be using some thin canvas material since it won't really be that visible what it is and then on the outer I'll be using a lace ribbon. Starting with the lace top, I place each of my pattern pieces onto the lace and sketch around them using some fabric chalk. And here you have the pieces for one side of the top. To make the pattern for the other side, just flip the pattern over. Now we can start sewing the pattern pieces together. It's kind of hard to sew the lace because there's a lot of empty spaces, but just go slow and make sure you hit some kind of thread every time you go in. Once you've sewed together two pieces, you can cut away the excess at the seams. Once you've got one half of the lace top done, you can sew the other half the same way. Once you get both halves done, sew them together at the front. Now I'm going to go around the edge of the neck opening and also the arms and bottoms to cut away the excess. Now you can sew the top together at the shoulders, right sides to right sides. And that's the basic top done. Now you can try it on your doll and it should look something like this. Now moving on to the inner bodice, you're going to take the pattern and cut away the top part that we added just for the lace. Now 
you can transfer these pattern pieces onto your white canvas fabric, cut them out and sew them together in the same manner we did the lace top. Once the half of your pattern is all sewn together, you want to fold down the top edge, sew it in place to give a nice neat look. Make the other half the same way and sew them together. And that's the basic bodice. Now you want to take a piece of velcro and sew that onto the back so you can add it onto the doll. Now we're going to add the lace top on top of the bodice and then you're going to stitch them together at the bottom and up the sides. Cut away the excess lace that overlaps over the velcro in the back and sew it down, but leave the top of the back of the neck overlapping for now. Taking the excess scrap of lace that we cut away before, you want to cut away the top edge, glue this onto the edge of above the arm and the neck opening to make it look nice and neat. It's a small step but it just makes it look way more finished. Now to make the skirt, you want to measure out the waist of the doll to see the circumference of how, of how big your skirt needs to be at the top. This doll was 10 cm and I times that by 6 and cut up a long strip of fabric that was 60 cm long and as wide as I wanted the length of the skirt to be. To make this long strip with the waist, you're going to sew a loose stitch all around the top so you can gather it and make it all ruffled and nice. Once the skirt will fit the waist, you're going to sew it onto the top right sides together, which means you flip the skirt going upwards when you sew it on so it will fold over and look really nice and poofy. Since the flowy fabric I use for the skirt is a bit see-through, I'm going to take a long strip of satin fabric in the same dimensions as the previous skirt and bundle it up exactly the same way and sew it on underneath just to make it not transparent. Then you should have something like this. Now all you have to do is flip it over and sew together the two back loose bits of both of the skirts. The very final touch is just adding either a small button or a tiny piece of velcro to close the back of the neck in the lace. And here we are, our wedding dress is done. I really like how this came out. I'm a big fan of lace and I really like how the poofy skirt looks really cute. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and you want me to make more dresses like this. And I'll see you guys in a new video real soon. Bye!